We are here at Copa Virginia looking at the men's Nogi male absolute division, the adult division. We have Alexander Romanoff in the headgear and we have Christopher Ashley in the leopard print shorts. Immediate nice outside foot swip from Alexander and Sean immediately goes up for an armbar the there in the guard. He does. But it looks like Alexander has a, a very solid uh, top game from the closed guard of Christopher. Um, he's holding one of the arms back. Uh, he's yeah. trying to get for that um, around Alec the... With Alexander's MMA background, you know that he's got a great top game. Goes for that body lock pass. You call it an around the world pass? Yeah. Yeah, usually really using, doing a good job of putting his weight into the shoulders and chest of Christopher. Christopher is in it. He's really... Every time that Alexander commits over the top there, throws his legs to the side, uses the long legs that he has to go for. Looks like he's going for an armbar, but potentially might even go for a triangle as well. He might just be trying to sweep him up and get to, a, to an upward position, um, or maybe just keep his guard established, because he does have uh, the larger Alexander on top. Um, but he, he almost looks like he's going to go for a sweep or an armbar yeah, again. He's going for he that armbar on the outside. Yeah. He's locked over the outside shoulder. It is very deep. Alexander's doing a good job passing the north-south and makes it a lot harder to extend away. And then drops back Ooh. for an ankle lock for himself. Then going for an outside heel hook variation, switching up to a knee bar. And then trying to wrestle up. And he gets Very that nice treetop single there for Alexander. Immediately putting Christopher Ashley, uh, not quite in the half guard. He but is in, yeah, yeah, he's in he's the half guard now. Side control. He's inside. Yeah, side control. control. Yeah. But, and he has that one hand under the head. I think he's cupping chin. Yeah, he's and been just looking for a topside neck crank yeah. uh, from this position with the sit out. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do here, but it's a very, very good position to leverage, you know, a size advantage in an open weight division like this. He's putting a little bit of shoulder pressure into Christopher on the bottom here, but not a ton. He isn't really committing all of his weight into that shoulder pressure. I'm curious to see if he's going to try to crawl up higher. I think I, it, I thought it's head and arm choke. He's trying for a head and arm choke, I believe. Yeah, he's, um, he's got his head nice and low. He's not underneath of the arm. True. He might be just trying to go across to, to mount from that position. Maybe. It looks like. We go back to the guard here and do a, kind of a low butterfly guard that turns into a regular guard that Alexander immediately looks to shuck off and come away. Well, he is looking for, um, it seems like Christopher is looking for an arm bar um, because he knows that Alexander is going to be yeah. imposing when he is on top. And they're looking standing for a jumping again. triangle there. I think that we're going to see more jumping submission attacks from Christopher here. You know, we're probably going to see an, another jumping arm bar, a jumping triangle. Looks yeah, Alexander's doing a really good job holding the legs away and passing the legs and coming around. Yeah, and just racking up the points, doing a great job. Going for a stockade here. Ooh. Didn't quite get the arm underneath there. We have 340 left in this match. Both really gentlemen are great position to control yeah. the to control the head and the neck from. Alexander putting nice pressure on top, going to outside, going to a modified scarf hold, looking for that top side neck crank, Kasey Katame neck crank. Again, Christopher's doing a good job getting his legs involved, trying to alleviate some of the pressure, but that yeah. is a very tough position that you do have to grit and bear a bit. Christopher goes back to this, I believe it's half guard with one butterfly in. Yeah, it's a butterfly half, but uh, Alexander on top is looking for that, almost like a head and arm pass. And, and we're a little bit off the mat here, going into a reset. And there's 255 left in the match. Alexander is up by eight and one advantage. Um, Alexander is looking for that uh, sweep. Yeah, they're both going to trade sweeps. those foot sweeps. And again, that kind of just speaks to the power of Alexander here in, in those ties. Well, he is a heavyweight in the uh, UFC roster at this point. Um, yeah. He does train locally at Rising Tide, um, or Maryland locally at Rising, T Rising Tide. Yeah. Uh, but Christopher is staying in it. He is. Yeah, he's doing a good job going for the ties as well. You know, Ooh, very, very good body lock takedown here for two points. Again, the speed of Alexander coming in like that to get the body lock is very impressive at the size. 
Christopher's doing a nice job of pressing away on the face and keeping the frames in. He does have Christopher does have the legs basketed though, and looks like he's gonna crawl back over to mount with that. Just a bit over two minutes remaining. This is a very exciting match, I think, because Christopher is trying to throw up any submission that he has against the larger Alexander. Yeah, Alexander's doing a great job, you know, keeping that good position and keeping good pressure and not just holding these, you know, top positions, but dynamically working to improve his position to put a lot of pressure, but also open up opportunities for himself. You know, even though he's up 10 to 0 right now, we see him actively working to improve his position, look for the subs without giving up anything that he doesn't have to give up. He is he does have that that far arm. I looked like he was going to spin around and maybe try for yeah, Kimura Christopher's from that kind position. Of going for the leg, but Alexander again swings to the back. He traps both hands on the mat. Again, it's a common technique in MMA when taking the back is to pin both hands to the mat like that. Yeah, pin one, and then you can kind of strike from the yes. strike at the same time. Christopher again coming back in for that kind of half butterfly guard variation. And we have 118 left. Uh, Alexander's up by 10. Um, Christopher is in like a butterfly, like a seated guard with one butterfly hook in. Yep, it's like a seated butterfly. It's a single leg yeah. seated butterfly guard. He's going to try to pull uh, Alexander in, it seems, and either go after an arm or maybe a triangle, but it looks more like he's going after one, trying to go after yeah, an arm. Yeah, we saw him going for the arm earlier. With, and again, one of the bites was very, very good, and Alexander had to use a lot of motion to get out. Alexander's being very measured in the way that he's stepping through the half guard, putting a ton of pressure on the top end of the shoulders, and then... And protecting his legs at the same time, yeah. not allowing him to roll under and grab one of his Doing legs. Doing a really great job there with the leg pummel and the shin pummel as he passes to the far side there. And he has Great a cradle control. here, and he's trying to grab that far arm and hold that far arm. Yeah, he's really, again, almost looking for a variation of the stockade again with where he has the shoulders controlled for both sides. Coming into mount here to force the turn from Christopher. Christopher's going for the goat hooks a little bit, but Alexander's doing a nice job of keeping the top pressure to prevent the hips from coming up. And Christopher's doing a really good job trying to get one of the knees up or try to get a guard back a guard established. Yeah, he did force the half guard yeah, here. Yeah, he did. And we're back into the butterfly with the dying seconds of the match. We're going to see a sweep as uh, Christopher jumps. And uh, time is going to expire 17 to 0. Very, very nice showing from Alexander Romanov. And he advances to the next division, next round of the cash prize division at Copa, Virginia. He'll be going against Corbett. Yeah, that'll be a very exciting match. 